Come on, pick up, pick up. This is Dr. Patel. Hey, I just wanted to let you know we're bringing the baby into the ER. Oh, what's going on? Trouble breathing? Fever? Failure to thrive. Oh, is she not eating? Her growth progression is just completely stalled. Now, I don't have her chart right in front of me, but I remember she was around 40th percentile for height and weight and she had a good growth trajectory. She's not sitting up, Doc. What? Not even close. We've got to figure out what's going on. Maybe an infection stunting her growth? She's only six months, correct? Yes, yeah, six months and 15 minutes and not even a hint of sitting up. Okay, but... We need to get ahead of this, Doc. I think it's a little premature to get this concerned about this. Look, Doc, I might not remember much about pediatrics from medical school, but I remember the developmental milestones, and babies are supposed to be sitting up at six months. That is the average time when babies will start sitting up, but every baby's different. Just to save some time for you and the ER, Doc, when we go in, I've started to put together a basic differential of the possible causes. You don't need to go to the ER for this. Hypo thyroidism, celiac disease, a glycogen storage disorder. 15 minutes beyond six months, I'm not worried about it. So when should I be concerned? Another two hours maybe? Why don't you come into my office next week? We can talk more about it. We'll go through all the developmental milestones. You're sure she doesn't need a lumbar puncture? I am positive. Okay, I don't feel great about it, but I trust you, Doc. I promise it'll be okay. See you next week. That sounds great. I think, oh, oh wow. I Doc, I think we can actually cancel that appointment. Did she just sit up? Yeah, she did and she's doing great. Kids are crazy like that. I'll see you in two months.